what's going on everybody Fedor here from 3d print sos welcome back to the channel and i wanted to share a project with you guys today this is my death racer and i had an absolute blast building this thing in a series of live streams on the channel if you guys are into that kind of thing jump in on our live stream we do a bunch of different projects we check out new machines it is an absolute blast here is some footage from the build Another super fun thing outside of that build process is actually our video sponsor, PCBWay. Today's video is sponsored by PCBWay. They're an amazing resource for anything 3D printed, injection molded, CNC machining, the list goes on and on and on. Check out PCBWay.com for an amazing and extensive list of resources and services that they provide, and also a community tab where you can check out other projects by other makers, and you can purchase the projects and everything that you need for them right there, not just PCBs. The list goes on and on with everything they do, and I guarantee you, just like I was surprised, you will be surprised by how reasonable the pricing is. So check out PCBWay and thank you PCBWay for sponsoring this video. Now with all that fun stuff out of the way, I do wanna mention a couple of things. One, mine was built using the Big Tree Tech uh, kit for the Piranha and I had an early version of a version one kit and that kit was designed before these files were finalized. So if you guys noticed, I was actually missing a bunch of screws, uh, some inserts, things like that, some pins for the tracks, uh, but version two is completely fixed. So if you guys are looking into these things, I would definitely make sure that when you're buying the Big Tree Tech, tech kit, you're buying version two because it's just gonna alleviate a bunch of little issues for you and then we all need to focus on is printing the parts and putting them together and that part is really really fun you actually don't even need a radio it actually these kits come with radios uh, and receivers in them and these things will get the job done they have potentiometers they have switches so you can even expand them or use them for other things a fly sky does a good job making these really affordable and accessible to everybody so that's great now if you are into quads or cars or trucks whatever and you have your own radio like i did you could definitely jump into something like elrs with a bunch of uh, channels and make that work as well which is really really fun uh, for people that want to use their own radios so no problem there these kits run with uh, work really well with inexpensive batteries as well these 52 uh, milliamp uh, batteries uh, from z are super inexpensive and the reason why i want to mention that is because the uh, on day two uh, or day one when i came home after using two batteries uh, i went to charge them and they barely needed a charge i was actually really impressed with how efficient uh, these death racers are for uh, just you you know what they do and how capable they are but as you guys saw and you might still be wondering what the heck is this thing it looks so weird well this model in particular is a tank style vehicle meaning it has these treads that control each side there is a rider on all of these things with uh, the head that's on there at a certain height and the point is all of the switches the power switches and all these vehicles are actually right there underneath the head so if the head ever comes off on a death racer it's going to t uh, trigger uh, the on off switch on them and it's going to cut power to them so the point of these things is to stay alive as long as you can uh, whether you're just avoiding enemies or using whatever the, your weapon you decided on and actually a pro tip for that go for the spinning weapon it seemed like every time that i uh, uh, drove uh, near anybody with one of those my head went flying. Oh, he got me. Got me with the spinner. So just keep that in mind. I went with the dual bludgeon uh, that splits apart like this. So you can drive um, in between uh, people and hope, hope to clip their heads. It also goes all the way back like this so you can spin around in a spot and use them that way. I actually had a lot of fun with these, but like I said, I think uh, these spinning uh, tools just have a little bit of an upper hand. Ah, oh, instant loss. But let's cover some of the materials I used here because those are also incredible. 
Uh, there's a couple that I use here. So first of all, the main thing, I use Polymaker's PPS CF for this entire build, and that is complete and utter overkill. It is one of my favorite materials. It's so robust, it's flame retardant. It's not afraid of heat and so on and so forth. The list goes on and on. It's just an incredible material, but you definitely do not have to use something like that. You can literally use PLA, PTG, ABS, uh, whatever material you would like. I've even uh, seen Dave and Terry make a TPU version Version, which is just incredible. So you don't have to uh, sit your eyes on such a high-end uh, filament like this. But worth noting that I also printed the rear section here with Chibi Tex PPSCF, and they are almost indistinguishable, use the same settings, and just came out incredible. For TPU, I use Soriatex Foaming TPU or Aero TPU. And the cool thing about that is not only does it match the build perfectly, you can control the density uh, of these parts by slowing them down or using a little bit more or less heat. It's really incredible. And just like with the uh, rear section here, I ended up running out of material for the tracks about halfway. And I went from using Soriatex material to Chiditex Aero. And it, once again, indistinguishable. You couldn't even see a layer line there during the build. So they're very, very similar materials and behaved exactly the same. And I think they were the perfect material for my particular build. They weren't necessarily slick, but they also had, uh, le they let go of just enough traction to make some maneuvers and it came out perfect. A thing I wanted to note about the tracks on uh, these is I had to actually go through a rigmarole of testing different tracks. Uh, the standard tracks that use these pins are all rubber and because the body of this thing or the wheels or the tracks or the treads aren't adjustable width wise, you kind of just have to put something on there and hope they're not too tight. And that's what happened with mine. They were just a bit too tight and I was getting overheating on the motors. So after this, I went ahead and tried to do the single piece tracks and it was actually even worse. Uh, they were binding up and causing all kinds of issues. And this was about a week before the, uh, the main event and I was really nervous, uh, uh, but somebody told me to try these two piece uh, versions where uh, you go ahead and use uh, screws uh, to hold them together. The inside is all plastic and there's just a rubber piece on the edge and even though they seemed a little loose i was worried about them coming off they performed perfect and as you can see there's literally no friction at all these things work absolutely perfectly no more overheating i even went as far as modifying these files right here adding these uh, vents and pushing these panels out just to get the motor some air but i didn't end up needing any of that so all the challenges that i actually had could have just been solved by just printing a little bit more and being more patient Surprise, surprise, surprise. Anyway, I just wanted to show this thing off because I think projects like this are, are what brings us not only together at these events, but it just makes 3D printing mean something. To uh, print more than just something that sits on a shelf, something that you can actually use and control and compete with and win a prize with, that just is so, so much fun. If you guys can make out to any of these events, uh, make it out to any of these events, even if you're not gonna be able to print your own and drive your own, whatever it might be, just go ahead and, and step outside when these events are running and just watch them. They're so much fun to be around. Easily the highlight of my 3D Printopia uh, this year. All right, everybody, I just wanted to touch base on that. Sam Prentis, thank you for making these things happen. I think they're so much fun and you're bringing a lot of people together and a lot of smiles on a lot of people's faces. Big Tree Tech, thank you for your kit as well. You guys are doing the same and making all this a possibility. And I wanna see more variations of these things uh, and more kits on these things, just making it more accessible and bringing us um, you know, more of these models because I think they're an absolute blast. And maybe those big ones uh, for next year. Let's see, uh, let's see about that. All right, everybody, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And as always, I'll catch you in the comments. Later.